I didn't intend to have all, or mostly all Dell equipment, but that's just how it kind of cleaned it. Check out the Dell. This is an Avicent uh, rebrand uh, Power Edge 2321DS. This was uh, right after they bought Avicent. Uh, the Power Edge R310. R this is actually running PFSense. Uh, it's got a dual Intel NIC in the back. And then I've got my SSD sitting here. It's actually running the OS. Uh, I don't have any of the the trays for this machine. Uh, I have to dig some up and make put that in as a solid connection. Uh, the Power Edge 2950, this is running FreeNAS, it's loaded off the USB drive, and it's got uh, six 2TB SATA drives, uh, and since like I said it's running FreeNAS, most of my primary storage is on there at the moment. Uh, this is a Rackable Systems storage uh, server, uh, it's at half depth, so this is only actually goes halfway back. I could literally put another one of these on the other side. Uh, Connect it directly up to the uh, to the rack, and still have plenty of space between for power and whatnot. Uh, the network is on the front here. More of all this stuff. This actually should be put on the back side, but unfortunately, the way these things are fanned uh, is the the these were designed for a rackable uh, rack system, where you have half of your servers on the front side, half of them on the back side, and your air would go through the front into the center of the cabinet. Uh, well, you know, into the front and into the back, and it would come into the center of the cabinet, and then it would be vented straight up out the top of the cabinet. Uh, it was a nifty solution, uh, high density uh, server stacks, uh, but I just had this one. Uh, this is my. Actually, I did some digging. This is a triplight uh, KVM, but it's not really a triplight. It's it's made by a different company. And I can't actually find another one of these. Uh, this one has a standard C13 power plug in the back uh, where most of the rest of them have like a DIN power adapter that's external, which I thought was fascinating. Uh, this is a Dell Equalogic SAN. It's got 600 gig drives. Uh, because this is a SAN, it doesn't have any like HBA connectivity right now. It's got uh, network connections in the back, so this was designed to basically be just a bunch of iSCSI targets, uh, and we might have poke at that in a bit and see how that works. Uh, this is my NetApp shelf. This is HBA attached. I have it connected to uh, this Dell R715. Uh, this one's got 16 cores. It's dual 8 core uh, Opterons. It's got two 73 gig uh, SAS drives that are 2.5 inch drives in a RAID. Uh, RAID 1, that's a RAID Z1, so they're they're mirrored, and that's what the OS is sitting on here, and then this is connected via a NetApp HBA uh, that I've, it, I, I actually had problems running this in Linux, it did not like Linux at all, it only liked FreeBSD. Uh, the errors you see are when I was poking around at it earlier, uh, trying to get some things to work, and I had some PCI Express errors because I was fiddling with some stuff. Uh, this is... Uh, Power Edge R715. It is currently running Proxmox, uh, and it's also running Docker, and uh, a, a web interface for Docker. Um, I'm going to get more into that a little bit later. And then down here, I've got the uh, Equalogic PS6510. Uh, this one. Oh, let's see if I can get this. There we go. Has no hard drives in it. But when it is full, and they just keep going, uh, it's got uh, 48 ports. Um, that's six, 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 six. Lots of six drive bays. Um, I don't have any uh, sleds for it. Uh, don't really need them, but at the same time, I might dig around and see if I can find some of those on eBay or something, and see if I can get that up and running. But I need. Uh-oh. It's not actually connected to anything. It's sitting on a shelf. I'll fix that in a minute. Uh, but I need a switch that can handle jumbo frames and everything else. And currently, you can kind of see the spaghetti mask sitting right here. This is a Dell Power Connect. I actually found this switch at a thrift store, and it uh, was broken. Uh, it turns out that they have some... Let's go around and check it out. 
Hmm, Queen of Pain. Okay, right, so this spaghetti monster, uh, this is, it's a deck of sets, Dell Power Connect. It is a 2716, and it uh, had a problem turning on uh, because the power supply is notorious for burning out a couple of the capacitors. So I went ahead and pulled it apart, pulled out the uh, capacitors that were in there, and swapped it for uh, working capacitors. Hmm. Anyway, that's uh, that's where we're at right now. Now I got some more stuff coming up with Proxmox. Um, in a few weeks, I've got I have to make a a business trip uh, this week, and uh, I finally got that shelf out of there. I got this new one in here, and I got to move some stuff onto the shelf. Anyway, I'll be back uh, here into the vault in about two weeks, and it will be awesome. Stay tuned, see what's going on. Like I said, more stuff on this, and uh, a lot of people were asking me about the mouse that I used in my uh, Freestyle Edge video, and I'll do a little quick uh, run over on that. I've been using it for probably about eight months now, uh, off and on both for gaming and just general productivity uh, in regard to, it goes with my laptop, like the, the, uh, the Freestyle Edge, they just go with my laptop. Because uh, it, it's, it's small, compact, and it goes with me everywhere. It's awesome. Anyway, stressing and testing in development environment. Gonna make some awesome stuff.